Now, with a deadly exchange of gunfire between a suspect and police just outside of Milwaukee, police releasing some of the footage, including the moment one of the officers was struck. Von Hilliard has a story and a warning. The video you're about to see is graphic. Horrific newly released footage out of Milwaukee County shows a police account of an encounter, including disturbing exchange of gunfire that left a man dead and an officer critically wounded. Let me see that right hand! Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired! Please don't let me die. I'm begging you. The driver, 31 year old Tyron Lamb. The video appears to show leading police on a high-speed chase after driving through a red light. After initially pulling over, Lamb took off. He avoided spike strips thrown into the road, evading police before flying full speed into an intersection, slamming into another car. Two officers approach. Show me your hands! The video appears to show the officers yelling at Lamb to put up his hands. 18 times. Get more squads here now. While distracted by a bystander, the officer is yelling at her to back up. Back up! We're in pursuit! But then police say this happens. Put your hands up now! Let me see that right hand! The male officer is struck in the face and chest. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! I'm hit! I'm hit! With his car door open, Lamb turns and then fires at the female officer. Just yards away, she scrambles. He then flees in the direction of the male officer who is already wounded. The two exchange gunfire within inches of each other. The injured officer can be heard pleading for his life. Please don't let me die. Sit down. Please don't let me die, okay? Sit down. Sit down. I'm in the hand. I'm in the chest. I'm in the face. Police did not release the entirety of their footage. Their reasoning, the case is still being investigated. But Lamb's mother, Nisha, insisting to NBC News tonight that she wants it unedited and full tape to be released. So the unedited version, not clipped versions of it. Everybody, the public want to see it, see it just like I do. Police footage appears to show Lamb running from the scene. He's running! He's running! Police say they were eventually able to catch up to the suspect again, fatally shooting him. The police chief crediting the unnamed officers. What you'll see in this video is the kind of dangers officers face every day. You will see their bravery, their heroism. All right, Vaughn Hillier joins us now in studio. So, Vaughn, we saw that very dramatic footage. I know you spoke with the suspect's mother, and there are still a lot of questions tonight because she says this is not the full story. And in your story, we did not see the final moments of the suspect being shot. Right. We saw him running away from police, but the video that the police department did not release was that video in which they shot and killed him. Of course, you're talking to a grieving mother. This video took more than a month for them to release. And to her point, it's not the full video. It is only edited clips here. That officer was shot in was in critical condition. We're told he is recovering at home. But again, though, that mother calling for the full unedited video to be released. And the police wanted to release this much because they wanted to correct some of the record. Exactly. This was more than a month again. And of course, there's heightened attention when we're hearing about particularly black men that are being shot by police here in Milwaukee. This was, of course, of a concern point, And that is why they said that they wanted to, quote, correct any misinformation or leads that people were going off of. And they said that this video does just that. But still questions remain tonight. All right, Vaughn, we thank you for that report. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.